there are four types of client scripts right yes, out, so right, right. one will execute in certain time okay okay now if you see on change on load client script uv policy client script both are same pretty much uh, okay okay uh. okay even in UA policy also, there is something called onload. If you select yes, onload, onload checkbox, only right. it will work. Correct? Yes, yes. So, on submit client script, UA policy, completely different. So, if I okay. say uh, client script will run first, then on submit client script will run completely last. Ah, correct, sir. So, okay, you are saying if we select on submit client script, then UA policy run first, right? Correct. Okay, okay. So, the so is I completely dynamic, ma. So we discussed it. So understand, we understand. need to understand yes. the question. We need to challenge them back. It's not like one answer. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it is also one of the interview questions, sir. Which runs first, yeah, like that? They, but they are not mentioning the type of the script in the question. That we need to ask, or we need to cover all these things in our answer. Okay, okay. That means if, uh, if we are covering all of them. Then we know the subject. If not, then we don't know the subject. That's what it gives the indication to the interviewer. Uh, right, right. Okay. And uh, just now I read another one. If there is any conflict between UI policy and the client scripts, UI policy runs first. Is that correct? Yes. So conflict in the sensor. I mean, order is same or what? What? What is that? Not statement? order. It's both are on load and also both okay. are working on the same field and same condition. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Sir, that means if uh, both are on load, then client script will run first? Just check it, ma'am. Create one UA policy, create one client script, and then check it. Okay. Yeah. These questions, now we need to check it practically. Then we will we will get to know. Okay. Just create one UA policy, one client script, and then uh, keep some messages or some indications. One is true, one is false. Okay. Open the watcher, field watcher, and then execute it, and then see which is running first, which is running next. Okay, ma? Oh. Yeah. yeah, yesterday I tried that, sir, but it is not working. Okay. Once again, I will try. Field watcher you can make use of. You see here, you know, right, how to enable the field watcher. Uh, sir, can you please show how to use the field watcher? I'm yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm actually doing it, but I didn't share it. I'm just give me a second, please. Okay. Okay. You can all see my screen, now. Huh? Yes, sir. So where, where you are in the service now page, the main page. Okay. Don't open the tab in a new tab. Okay. In the main tab only. Like let's say I want to open incident form. I open here only. Okay, then my UA policy or my client script is working on this particular field. I want to observe this field. Okay, right click, watch field. You are understanding, ma? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, if you do it, it will come like this. Okay, you can just check it medium. Okay, and if you what you want to uh, analyze, is that everything or is that only client script or UA policy? You can check them also. Okay. Then you can, 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 then you can do the activity, then it will start showing here. You're understanding, ma? Yes, sir. 